It was a sobering night at Van Andel Arena. Although the Griffins won, fans couldn't celebrate with a beer or any alcoholic beverage. News 8's Jacqueline Francis is in studio with the latest on this liquor lockdown. Jacqueline? Marley, this ban on booze will be in effect for a total of four games. With one down and three to go tonight, Griffins fans got a first taste of this dry run that comes after the arena was caught breaking the rules. The Griffins are back in town, just in time for the liquor lockdown at Van Andel Arena. The state suspending their liquor license for a total of four games after employees were caught serving minors back in March. I was a little surprised. I'm a senior citizen and they card me every single time, so I don't know how this slipped by them. According to police, IDs were checked, but not thoroughly enough. And while the punishment is temporary, some are curious to see how this ban on booze will set apart the true fans from the partiers. You pretty much go to all the games unless something Serious that keeps us away. And then I can't have, have a beer, but you know, there's still a hockey game. Well, yeah, I think it's a great thing because really you're getting fans in here who care about the team, who have that drive, and who aren't interested in just coming out and getting liquored up and spilling beer all over everybody. You know, that's one of the things that causes a lot of season ticket holders to want to drop their season tickets to partial seasons is all the drunks on Friday night. To help offset a drop in sales, the Griffins are running a promo offering discounted concessions during the dry run. Like always, fans are forbidden from bringing outside alcohol into the arena, but that's not stopping them from hitting the bars beforehand. The bar first, and then going to the game. The ban making the pregame more important than ever. My guess is bars will be packed and the game will be less people. Since this was a Wednesday night game, it's hard to tell if the ban affected the turnout. Many expecting to really feel its effects on Friday night at that game. For the new policy, the Van Andel has put into place following the incident. Go to our website, woodtv.com. In studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.